This is a change of sign button down here. On my calculator, this is a subtraction button. They're two different things. They do two different things. You need to know which one you are using. Okay? You need to start with the change of sign button. So I'm going to put in the change of sign. And I can see a negative already up here on the screen. There's my log button right there. It says L-O-G. Log. Then, then I'm putting in 0 0.0100. I want to hit enter, and I've got a calculate. I've got a number up there for an answer. So the pH for a hydrogen ion molar concentration of zero point zero one zero zero is two. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Quiet, please. That's number one. Quiet, please. That's twice. All right, I think Reese had a question. Negative logarithm of the molar concentration of the hydrogen ion is two. Now, I'm going to give you that in a minute. Now, you have to have the right number of significant digits. The right number of significant digits is we're going to use the same rule as multiplication division. That's not the way you're supposed to do it. There's actually a new set of rounding rules for, for logarithms and exponents, but we're not going to learn that in here. Hello? Uh, she went home, I understand. Well, she left here. She came in, she went and saw Ms. Rice. Ms. Rice called me on the phone, said she was sending her home, and she's not in my class right now. Well, she could be in the nurse's office, or she could be with Ms. Rice. I don't know. She had a note, you know, and she signed out of my room. All right? Sure. All right. Now, if I, how many significant digits do I have in this number here? Three. three. So when I write my pH, I need to make sure I have my, that number has three digits. <sighs> so the pH for this then is 2.00. And there are no, there are no units of measurement on that. Yes? When I push the log button, it says Well, then yours may require you to do it a different way. That's what I was saying a while ago. Bring yours up here. What about the Is that okay? In a moment. There's your change of sign button down here at the bottom. Change of sign. Let's see. Where's logarithm on here? Log. Oh, okay. All right. So a TI 30A. TI 30 XA, then you're going to have to back into the calculation. Okay? So if you'll pay attention, I'll show you how to do the other way of solving this that some calculators require, where you have to back into the calculation. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in, in other words, calculating pH for this calculator, negative log of 0 0.0100. Okay, we're going to put in this number first. Not negative log first, but this number first. So we're putting in 0 0.0100. Then we're going to hit logarithm. And then we're going to hit the change of sign. Okay? Mm -hmm. I don't have a logarithm. All right, so this is a TI-30X-2S. This calculator allows you to put in the calculations just the way we read it. Okay, so if I put in negative, 
was long. I had it a second ago. There it is. Log zero point zero one zero zero. Close my parentheses here. Hit equals, and I get that pH two. Okay. So a thirty x a won't allow you to do that. You have to back into the calculation, but a thirty x two s or thirty x two will allow you to do it the way you read it. Did you do the calculation? Did you get the right answer? What? Did you get a 2 when you put it in? Then you put it in the way it reads. Can I have my calculator back, Mr. Cutter? What? What do you mean I didn't do it correctly? You didn't say that. I don't Yes, for this calculator you do. Some calculators require you to put your number in parentheses. Okay? All right. Please listen and quit talking. James, you need to turn around and stay face forward. Okay? Dick. Dick. Forrest. You need to sit up and work, please. Okay. All right. Let's talk about what a what pH what a logarithm is for just a second. Just a second. I'm only going to give you the headline version here. Okay. If I write this number right here, 0 0.0100 in scientific notation, I get. 1.00 times 10 to the negative 2. That's where the pH comes from right there. By definition, a logarithm LOG on your calculator, a logarithm LOG on your calculator is an exponent on a base of 10. This is the base This is the base, and that's the logarithm. Logarithm is an exponent on a base of 10. So then that gives us a way to undo a logarithm. And what do I mean by undoing a logarithm? If I have, if I have addition, I undo addition with subtraction. If I have multiplication, I undo it with division. So you undo logarithms with exponents. So here's a question we can answer with this knowledge. Okay, if the pH of an acidic solution is 4.75, what is the molar concentration of the hydrogen ion? Okay. Remember the symbol for molar concentration of hydrogen ions is this bracket with the hydrogen ion symbol in there. Okay, since a, a pH is a logarithm, a negative logarithm, then we can undo that pH to find the actual concentration, in this case, by putting the pH number in the exponent position and changing the sign. So therefore, with this information, we can find it by doing this. 10 to the negative 4.75. Okay, 10, I want to use the up carrot here, 
all right and in parentheses I'm going to use a negative 4.75 so when I put it in the calculator like that it means this hit enter and I get this number huh so the concentration then of the hydrogen ion in this acid with a pH of 4.75 is going to be this number that we're going to round off. Don't forget the exponent over here. So this number, 1.77827941 E negative 5 is the same thing as 1.77827941 times 10 to the negative fifth. We're going to round that off to three digits to match the three digits we started with. Okay, one, two, three, underline, draw an arrow, and we get 1.7 8, and we can't forget that, times 10 to the negative 5 over here. That has to be part of our answer. Times 10 to the negative 5. Yes, Jessica. Say what now? Sure. And it's a perfectly reasonable answer to have 0 point and four zeros, 178 times 10 to the negative 5. Those are the same thing. 